Now my family, Patrick J. Adams, who played Mike Cross on Suits, continues to post even more photos of Megan. And my family, before I talk even more extensively about that, I wanted you to see some Suits bloopers, my family. Please kindly look at this clip. My family, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, the gorgeous me Megan. Que esa carta. Me mentiste. No lo hice. Sí, lo hiciste. Yo te dije que te ayudaría. Eso no fue lo que quisiste decir y lo sabes. Tú estabas muy raro en esos días y ahora me estás mintiendo. ¿Eh? Hoy no. Entonces, ¿cuándo? Porque siempre hay una razón, un secreto, una historia. No entiendes por lo que he pasado. He perdido casi todo. A casi todo. No hay gente que conozco. No te puedes perder a ti. Hoy no. Ahora. Hoy no. Entonces. Dime. <laughs> Soy Frodo. Ay. Ay. <laughs> no más. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> 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 my family now that was a really really you know hard difficult dream for mike ross my family for mike ross basically you know patrick j adams who played mike ross on suits now, my family first of all i love that clip i love that you know those bloopers from suits my family it just goes to show just how amazing this show truly truly is and no wonder so so many people are enjoying streaming suits on netflix no wonder my family and my family once again honestly part of the reason why i showed you that clip is because Louis Litt, my family, is one of my favorite characters on Suits. You know, Rick Hoffman, who played Louis Litt on Suits, is one of my favorite characters on Suits. And I like that clip. I like that clip so much, my family. You know, my family, I have no idea what was said there, but I just love it. I love it so, so much, my family. Megan is very, very talented, an amazing, amazing actress. And I have no idea if there ever will be a Suits reunion for my family. If there will be one, I'm sure it will be a hit. I'm sure it will be a very, very huge, big hit, my family. I'm very, very sure about that. My family, here's what happened also today. A couple of hours ago, Patrick J. Adams once again posted a photo of Megan, my family, from the Suits set. It is a photo of Megan, you know, lying on the couch, my family, and also basically one other gorgeous photo of Megan. I don't think I've ever seen this, you know, photo of Megan, my family. But my family, it is very, very gorgeous. And here is what he said. This well is deep. This well is deep. Clearly, he has so, so many photos, you know, of, you know, Megan and other cast members from Suits. He also posted one other photo, you know, of Megan. Basically, holding an umbrella. That is very, very much 
transparent, my family. And it is a gorgeous photo of Megan. Megan is very, very gorgeous. Very, very beautiful and very, very gorgeous. And even under the comment sections after posting this photo of Megan, someone said this, that, hey, Patrick J. Adams, your photos are simply the best. Your style is unique. You managed to capture raw beauty of the entire cast. How lucky the network was to have you capturing the behind the scenes coverage. And my family, he has amazing photos of Megan. And I love, you know, seeing these gorgeous photos. And I'm told that he was the one who took these photos. I'm told that Patrick J. Adams was the one who took these, you know, photos. And my family, I love them. I love them very, very much. Really, especially the ones he has taken of our gorgeous Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. And my family, you can tell really that Patrick J. Adams really, really misses, you know, the entire cast of Suits. And clearly, from what he has been posting, my family, he is missing those days. He is missing those days with other cast members of Suits. That is very, very much clear, my family. And my family, I just love to see this so much. I love to see this so much. Everyone who has ever worked with Megan only has but nice words to say about Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. And I love so much, you know, her life before royal life. Truly, her life, even Harry himself, in his memoir spare, described Megan's life as a life of adventure. And that he would love to join her in her life of adventure. My family, I love that, you know, so, so much, really. My family, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Truly, when they were working on suits, all of them had so much fun. They had the best fun in the entire, entire world. They all had so much fun just working together on suits, my family. Even, you know, a few weeks ago, he also posted a clip of basically, you know, Megan, you know, just singing, you know, a song, my family. I think they were out together. That's Megan. That's Rick Hoffman. <laughs> I like that guy. And also that's Patrick J. Adams' wife. You know, the guy has been posting these clips, my family. He truly misses this times with Megan, Rick Hoffman, and also clearly my family, Patrick J. Adams, gorgeous wife, my family, you know, Trojan Belisario. I believe that's her, that's her name, my family. Trojan Belisario. Patrick J. Adams, gorgeous wife. There she is. My family, clearly, they had so much fun together. They had so, so much fun together, you know, and when I keep on seeing this, I understand why just a few weeks Ago, I also saw Rick Hoffman posting, you know, a photo of he and Megan drinking wine together. I understand, really, because they they became a family, a family on set. Friends, cast members, you know, workmates became family. They go out together, have fun together, you know, have a drink together. Clearly, that was their life, my family, and they truly had fun. No wonder even in Harry's memoir sphere, Harry tells us Megan loved that show. Harry tells us Megan loved that show. He also tells my family that, you know, she also loved the cast members. You know, those who worked there. Megan loved all of them. And clearly, it was a very, very healthy environment to work in, in suits. To me, that is crystal clear, my family. That is crystal clear. And Patrick J. Adams misses these moments. He loves and misses these moments. And my family, basically, on his behalf, truly the guy really, really misses the entire cast. And we need a reunion. We need a reunion, my family. We need a 
reunion, and that is a fact. Even still, on his Instagram profile, here's what it reads. The guy from that show you are watching on that app because that girl married that prince. <laughs> I believe because this amazing success of Suits My Family on Netflix, how it's gone viral, the numbers are just incredible, my family. I believe that the cast of Suits are going to be getting, you know, phone calls from Hollywood. Doors will be opened for each and every single member who played a huge part, played a huge role in Suits. I believe that 100%. And that's what I'm praying and hoping for all of them. The doors are open for each and every single one of them. My family, and truly, truly my family, you know, Patrick J. Adams, I can see, really, really misses Meghan Markle. He truly misses Meghan Markle. Will he see Meghan? I have no idea. And you know why I have no idea? Because I'm reminded in Harry's memoirs prayer, Harry tells us of a particular love scene that he saw that clearly, you know, he said he would need shock therapy to get that scene out of his mind. I have to read you exactly what Harry said, my family. Harry starts by speaking about, you know, wearing disguises. When my family, right before his re relationship with Megan became public, whereby he, Eugenie, and Jack Brooks Bank went out together, you know, on Halloween, wearing costumes. My family, hear what Harry said, and I quote, Speaking of disguises, we invited Eugenie and Jack to join us for Halloween and Megan's best friend, Marcus. Toronto Soul House was having a big party and the theme was apocalypse. Dress accordingly. I mumbled to Meg that I'd not had great luck with themed fancy dress parties, but I'd give it another go. For help with my costume, I turned to a friend, the actor Tom Hardy. Before I left home, I'd phoned him to ask if I could borrow his costume from Mad Max. The whole thing? Yes, please, mate. The whole kit. He'd given it all to me before I left Britain. And now I tried it on in Meg's little bathroom. When I came out, she roared with laughter. <laughs> it was funny and a little scary. But the main thing, I was unrecognizable. Meg, meanwhile, wore torn black shorts, a camo top, fishnet stockings. If that is the apocalypse, I thought, bring on the end of the world. The party was loud, dark, drunk ideal, and several people did double takes as Meg passed through the rooms. But no one looked twice at her dystopian date. I wished I could wear this disguise every day. I wished I could use it the next day and visit her on the set of suits. But then again, maybe not. I'd made the mistake of Googling and watching some of her love scenes online. I'd witnessed her and her castmate mauling each other in some sort of office or conference room. It would take electric shock therapy to get those images out of my head. <laughs> Prince Harry says that Harry let me just clearly say this. Harry, it is just work. It is just work by family. You know, that's what it is. And also, Patrick J. Adams is married to Trojan Belisario, an amazing woman, my family, who's also the mother of Patrick J. Adams' kids. So, Harry, you have nothing to worry about. Megan is all yours. 
And my family, Harry then said this. I did not need to see such things live. Still, the point was moot. The next day was Sunday, so Megan wasn't working. My family, first of all, I like how she says how, you know, Megan was working. You know, about her life even before marrying Prince Harry. About Megan's life before royal, for the royal wedding, my family before meeting Prince Harry. Megan was working. Megan was a self-made millionaire before royal life. And no matter how many lies the royal family invent or come up with about Meghan Markle or targeting Meghan Markle, they will never ever be able to take away Meghan's past. Even though they have tried. They have really, really tried to, you know, muddy the waters on Meghan's, you know, past. They have basically hurled insults at Meghan's past life about her acting. That's what they have done. But guess what? The world has seen you know, Megan in suits and they love what she was able to accomplish before royal life. In fact, even Harry told us that when the royal family and the UK media were trying to cast Megan into a particular role, he said that Megan was coming into this, you know, real relationship in her mid 30s, you know, in her early 30s, my family. And when she and Harry got together and UK media began lying about Meghan Markle, friends who have worked with Meghan Markle, people who have known her even before real life, Meghan had millions of followers. And they were saying that, you know what? No, you are lying about Meghan Markle. That's not the Meghan we know. You are lying about her. Stop lying about Meghan Markle to UK media. You know? People, followers, Meghan had up to 3 million followers on her Instagram account, which she was forced to give up when she and Harry were engaged. Megan basically had a life, her own life, my family, and also her own career. And she had millions of followers. That's before Prince Harry. She had millions of followers. She had a life. And when people who are following Meghan Markle, who knew her, who are seeing the lies being spread about her online, coming from Turkey media. They were like, no, that's not Meghan. Stop lying about Meghan Markle. You are lying to the UK media. To the UK media, my family, the British tabloid press that is known for being bigoted, racist, and destroying people's lives. They have tried so hard and even continue to try to destroy Harry and Meghan's lives. My family, no matter what they do, they will never be able, and I pray this, my family, I hope and pray they never are able to destroy Harry Meghan's lives. My family, one of the reasons, as I've always said, this mayor campaign has been a failure is because of Meghan's past, because of her accomplishments before meeting Prince Harry. And my family, I believe even, when Meghan looks at her past, really, She's grateful of what she was able to accomplish even before meeting Prince Harry because no matter what the royal family have tried to do, it has become impossible to destroy Meghan's past life, to, to, to destroy her achievements before even meeting Prince Harry. The royal family and UK media have failed to destroy that. But still, they keep on trying. And no matter what they keep doing, they'll always fail. They won't succeed in destroying Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. My family. You know, let me read even more on what Harry said, my family, about what happened right before their re relationship became public. You know, Harry then tells us that, you know, and then everything was rendered moot. Everything was changed forever because the next day was when news of our relationship broke wide open. Well, we said, staring anxiously at our phones, it was going to happen eventually. In fact, we'd had a heads up that it 
was likely to happen that day. My family also, what Harry is saying is that Prince William and Jason North, those two, I can't stand the two of them. They are the ones who've called Harry Meghan to tell them that, you know, a royal correspondent had picked up on the story that they, you know, Prince Harry and Meghan were dating. And my family, who told them that? Who told them that? In my firm opinion, it was William and Jason North who told that correspondent that Harry and Meghan were dating. Because William was trying to destroy Harry and Meghan's relationship. And he had been trying to do that for a very long time because he, had, he could never ever stand seeing Harry happy. Seeing Harry fall in love with family. As Harry told us in his atmosphere, William was doing everything behind the scenes to try and destroy what Harry and Meghan have. And my family, so William and Jason North, who issued a statement, my family, against Meghan in court, were the ones who called Meghan to tell Harry and Meghan that their relationship was about to become public. And my family, at that time, Prince Harry and Meghan did not doubt William and Jason North. But after what has happened to them, what Jason North has done to Meghan Markle, you know, under the orders of Prince William, by now they must know. By now they must know that ever since William found out that Harry and Meghan were dating, he has been trying actively to destroy Harry and Meghan's relationship using lies trying to sabotage and break Harry and Meghan's relationship for a long time. And he continues even trying to do that to this day, my family, using the UK media. By being hateful towards Meghan Markle. And my family, I'm just thankful, despite what has happened, Harry protects Meghan. Harry takes care of his wife and family and loves and protects the mother of his kids. I'm thankful about that. And long may he continue to do that, my family. Long may Harry continue to do that always and forever. Forever and ever and ever, my family. You know, Harry then says this. You know? Meg, are you ready for what's headed our way? Kinda, are you? Yes. We were sitting on her sofa. Moments before I left for the airport. Are you scared? Yes, no, maybe we are going to be hunted. No two ways about it. I'll just treat it as if we're in the bush. She reminded me of what I'd said in Botswana. When the lions were roaring, trust me, I'll keep you safe. She had, believe me then, she said. She believed me now. By the time I touched down at Heathrow, the story had fizzled. It was all unconfirmed and there were no photos, so there was nothing to fuel it. A moment's reprieve, maybe. I thought all will be well. Now, calm before the storm, Harry tells us, my family, and then... Later on, you all remember what I said about the rest of the Megan endured at the hands of different UK tabloids. From Daily Mail, the Sun tabloid, they're all extremely racist towards Meghan Markle. And Harry also had to issue a statement to condemn the racism towards his then girlfriend Meghan. That's something the world will never forget. That's what I'll never ever forget, my family. You know, and my family, I'm just happy that Prince Harry, he did everything his part to keep Meghan safe. I'm happy about, you know, him protecting his family. Meghan, you know, Archie, I'm happy about what he has done. Truly, he's a real man. Truly, Harry is a very, very much real man, my family. And my family, basically, I love what Patrick J. Adams is doing, you know, posting these photos of Meghan Markle. 
to remind the world of the life that Megan had, and she had a life, a successful life. Megan was making reportedly up to fifty thousand dollars an episode on Suits. She made from her blog, The Take Really, which I'm hoping will get relaunched, my family, up to eighty thousand dollars. Wow, just wow, really, really wow. You know, and no wonder really the UK media are scared about you know Megan's new commercial venture, which no one knows what it is, but UK media are afraid of what is coming because they're so afraid of seeing her and Megan becoming billionaires. They are so so afraid of that because once again they keep hoping that Harry will come back to beg Charles and William for money. My family, once you have a taste of freedom, once you're able to pay your bills, there's no way. After all the challenges I've read, Harry Megan experienced, you know, in Harry's atmosphere, no person in the right mind ever wants to go back to that life begging, being worried, how am I going to pay my security bills? No one ever wants to be afraid of that ever again. And I myself don't believe that Harry Meghan, after what they've endured at the hands of the racist UK media, will ever want that kind of life ever again. After what they've endured and also experienced my family. So Meghan had an amazing, hugely successful life. And Patty J. Adams, thank you so much for, for posting these photos. Thank you so much for posting these photos to remind the world the life that Meghan had pre-royal life. I have seen that some trolls don't like what he's posting. These photos of Megan, this behind these scenes photos of my family, because it destroys all the lies that are being spread about Megan Markle. You know? That she's a bully. The lie created by William's office to lie about Megan Markle. Once again, go after Megan Markle using lies to try and destroy Megan's reputation using lies. No one believes those lies because of Megan's past. Because, first of all, cast members who worked with Megan on Suits, all of them, when the royal family lied and called Megan a bully, they all came out to defend Megan Markle and call out the lies of the UK media and also the farm. And Patrick J. Adams was one of the people who called out the farm and the lies towards Megan. So my family... Let me read some comments even under Patrick J. Adams' Instagram post on these new photos of Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. My family, someone said that, Patrick, please, we need another season. Someone said that, you know, I love suits and I hope all these posts mean that something is in the works of bringing that show back with the entire team. You know, my family, I don't think that that's going to happen. I don't believe that that's going to happen. But, you know, you can pray and hope for some kind of reunion. You know, like, you know, a reunion episode, really, of Megan being there with other cast members on Suits. I think that you can hope for that, my family. That's maybe, that maybe can happen. Maybe. That's a big maybe. My family, clearly, you know, Partly J. Adams totally misses the entire cast and we hope that we can get that reunion. Someone said that love you guys. Keep on posting. You know? Truly, Patrick J. Adams misses Megan. You are teasing us, Patrick J. Adams. Are you guys coming back? My family, no such reports have ever have been released. This is just Patty J. Adams really just remembering, you know, those good old days with Megan. Someone said that, you know, missing you shine. Someone said that. Love suits. You know, do you also miss Donna and Harvey? Well, yes, he does. And that's why he even has posted photos of Donna and Harvey as well. Suits reunion with all the cast. You can only hope my family. And my family also, in my previous, you know, video, 
that I made my family. About basically, Patrick J. Adams, you know, photos he also posted, you know, yesterday, my family. Someone said that, you know, I don't think Megan would go back to working on suits if it was relaunched. She has moved on from seven years ago. Someone called Darlene said that. And my family, Connie, said that, hi, Brad, it's true, Megan, you know, will be missed. On suits again. But she has moved on. You know, indeed, she has. But my family, it will be really good to see Megan on that, you know, maybe a reunion. Someone called Pat Johnson said that I don't see Harry ever watching his wife on screen in a sex scene as if it's normal. You know, I don't see that happening. Megan has so much respect for her marriage and her husband. My family, you know, truly also don't see that happening, you know, in a way. But my family, wants, one must also understand this, that, you know, even those kiss scenes, it's just working. It is just work. That's just what it is. It's work, my family. But perhaps some may not see it that way. I understand that. My family... Someone called Stephanie said that, why can't she go back to suits? Megan was able to work and also do what she wanted in Africa and elsewhere else without strings attached. You know, indeed, very, very true. But my family, you know, I would like it if I would see both Megan and Harry even acting or doing roles together. I would love to see them in my family. But, you know, it may never happen. That's just wishful thinking, really. But whatever they choose... To do in the future, my family, I know I will support Harry and Meghan in everything that they do. Now, Harry and Meghan have two kids, you know, so I have no idea if that's what Meghan will do in the future. But clearly, she has said she has no intention to go back to acting, but also she said never say never. So, my family, I'm hoping that never say never. And I'm hoping you can see both Harry and Meghan in a, in a movie or in a film. I'm, I'm hoping that that will happen even in the future. But my family, it may never happen. It's all just wishful thinking. My family, now you tell me just about this, you know, pictures shared by Patrick J. Adams. More and more photos of Meghan on the set of suits. I want to hear your opinion on these new photos. Please kindly tell me your thoughts about them. I want to hear your opinion. My family, may God bless Harry, Megan, Anjali, Bedana, and Doria Raglan. And all of you members of the squad at home, he never wins, love wins, and thank you to the next video, my family. My family, truly Megan is missed and so, so loved. And truly, no wonder Harry did say in his memoir spare, Megan loved that show. And clearly, my family, even the cast members in that show also loved Megan so, so much. And they love her very much. And that just shows. Stay tuned. For our next video, love you all and forever. I have no idea what the future holds, but I do hope that there'll be a reunion. Stay tuned to our next video, my family. Love you all and forever, and may God bless each and every single one of you. Harry, Megan, Anthony, Bedana, the entire cast of Suits, and all of you members of the squad at home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you, my family, always and forever, and may God bless you all. Hello, members of this is Kwa Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.